Hi everyone, this is Fab, and this video is a demo of a tool that I've developed at the University of Sussex in collaboration with deckchair.com during my placement. The problem we had was to select only the interesting pictures within a certain given data set, that in this case was a 2000 pictures data set containing shots from a week time from a hotel in front of the London Eye. And of course the pictures contain grey sky, sunset, any sort of landscape from a fixed location. The result we want to obtain is the following, so we just want to end up with pictures shot at a sunset time or sunrise time or during the dawn. We're going to delete this directory now, it's called SSAM filtered, so we're going to do this again. So we're going to filter our images first using this timestamp filter on Pi. We're using a config file that I'm going to talk about in a moment. And once we've selected our images, we run this test called SSIM test. The SSIM test is essentially a way to quantify the differences between two images, one reference image and another image. And the score that it gives us um, ranges between uh, 0 and 1, with 0 being two images completely different from each other and one being two images that are actually the same same image. So we end up with only 25 images that are the image that I've shown you already. And then another approach that we developed was um, through a machine learning tool that had to be capable of classifying two sets of images, essentially um, the grey skies that we obtain our, uh, after having, after having timestamp filtered our initial data set and the sensor that we want to get. So we already trained a support vector machine for this using uh, images of grey skies and sunset scraped from um, Google Images. We've already trained our network. We uh, obtained this file called svm.pickle that is essentially uh, the SVM itself already trained. So we can just run python um, label .py c config and we obtain um, a JSON file, which is essentially a dictionary containing um, as, a, as a key, the file name of the image that we, that we want to classify. And then as values, another dictionary, which has the actual predictions for the labels that we've trained on, which in this case are gray skies and sunsets. And now you can further select your Final data set, just looking at the score for the sunset, for example. So just a few words on some technicalities, like um, how we run all the scripts that we've run. We have a simple config file that can be edited by the user. So timestamp with a path in, path out, time zone and city name to select the pictures we want to select, just relying on the timestamp. Then we have a SSIM section for the Structural Similarity Index score. Here we chose a grey sky image, which is the following. And a threshold on the SSIM score of 0.5, which means that all the images that score below 0.5 will be moved to the directory with the interesting images. And then we have a common section that we we'll use just for some constants. So this is how it works. Thanks. Thanks for watching.